Hello Beauty News family. Um, welcome to a video that is a thing we're doing. It's um, like an update, yeah, recap, recap kind of thing. So yeah. we've been doing a makeup breakup now. We've just come into our fourth month. Yep. We know you guys love the videos. More are coming. Don't yes. worry. But we get a lot of questions about uh, the what products. have you done with the yeah. products? What have you done with the stuff? How are they performing? Yeah. I see another one over there. Oh, let's go get it. I'll, I'll, grab I'll, it. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. So essentially what we want to do with this video is recap. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to talk about all the products that we've uh, destroyed and kept. Yep. And um, let you know how we're going with them, basically. Yeah. And a lot of people also want to know if they change. Yeah after repressing them. So we're just going to let you know how they perform, roughly what we think of them, demonstrate a couple. Yeah. We're wearing no highlighters for mm. a reason. So um, yeah, let's just talk about it. Um, jiggling jingle, around here, yeah, jingle, jingle. jingle. Um, the first video we did was a Jeffree Star Onyx Ice Skin yeah. Frost and to be completely honest we threw that out because neither of us wanted it. So um, if we knew that people loved watching like repressing stuff, we would have repressed it yeah. and probably kept it. But back then, we had no idea. So that one we don't have. That one, the garbage man has. It's that gone. One. It's gone. Um, a couple of other ones that we've thrown out. There were some products from ColourPop that we couldn't fix. So mm -hmm. generally the lip products. Yeah. And also the cushion foundation mm -hmm. we got rid of. So there's no recaps on those. Um, and then we also did the MAC. Mariah. Mac Mariah. So we did mm. a couple of Mac products. Yeah. Mac Mariah, how's it going? Oh mate, it's exactly the same. It's no going change. Strong. It's like it's exactly oh, as gorgeous. it was when I got it. It doesn't smell like no. alcohol. It's no. It's just it's exactly It just doesn't have the creepy face on it. Now. Yeah. It there's been no change to it. It is it's a highlighter, it is too dark for me, but I can use it on my body. When I'm wearing something sleeveless or that has strappy yeah. sleeves, um, I dust it on my shoulders and it's beautiful and it works perfectly. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Do you have the Spellbinder? I do have the Spellbinder and you guys probably will already know that there is no change to this because it literally went back in perfectly. Perfectly. It such a crazy It was product. amazing. Yeah, a lot of people got a lot of joy out of that video. It was fun yeah. to watch. Um, but obviously, because this is a loose product and it's held together by a magnet, yeah. there was no change. There was it's, no change. It's so perfect. It's perfect. Then another one that we did was the Meteorites. We do still have it. Yeah. Have we used it? No, it has broken ever since because we didn't actually get to press this. Yeah. Um, because it was so goopy and disgusting. We Ooh, yeah. 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 We essentially just made just slime. Mm -hmm. Um, we couldn't actually press this for it to stay together properly. So at the moment it's just a bunch of powder. Um, I kind of keep it as a display item. We both hate the scent. Yeah. It doesn't smell like alcohol. It still has that really strong violet I can scent. Smell violets from here. Ooh. So um we still have it, but it's at the moment it sits in my background of my videos and just looks pretty. Yeah. That's an expensive thing to look just look pretty, but hey. it is. Right? <laughs> Another really expensive one that we had, a lot of people were like, I can't believe you're destroying that, you're wasteful, was the Dior highlighter. Now, if you watch that video, you'll know that all we did was scrape off the top layer. It, we really didn't destroy we didn't anything. Destroy shit. It's and it's fine. It's fine. We didn't need, like it's still got the design on oh. it. So I don't know what people were complaining about. It still still works because people it got so happen. upset. It's actually a really pretty highlighter. Yeah. Like um, I like it because it's quite a subtle highlighter. I'm gonna try. Sorry, I've got like a broken arm at the moment. Not quite, but is that the right way? No. No. There, no, we, no, go. No, there we go. So it's actually a really pretty subtle highlighter. Would I pay the money for it? No. But it's a pretty, it's a pretty highlighter. Yeah. So if you've got money to burn, totally recommend this it. This piece of hair is it's beautiful. fucking annoying me. So oh, no. no. Stop, stop, stop it. Stop it. But yeah, if you've got the money and you want a really subtle highlighter, I would still say go the Laura Mercier one. But if you don't want to, if you want this one because the compact is gorgeous, um, yeah. it, you can build it up. Like it's pretty. It's just very... The, packaging though oh yeah that packaging <laughs> yeah so we do have it wasn't a waste i do use it it's pretty thank you well done well done Woo! 
Um, should we talk about Colourpop? Let's do Colourpop. Yeah. I'm actually very happy that we did that video because I discovered some cool stuff. Oh, mate. That video. Yeah. Yeah. It, it I changed agree. me. Not really, but it was really good. Yeah. So currently I'm wearing the eyeshadow that one of the eyeshadows that we repressed, which was this purple one. Um, this is called Babykins, whatever. I wear this often. Mm -hmm. Like it's one of the few purple glittery eyeshadows that I wear. One of the few purple eyeshadows I wear. It's really, really pretty. I wear it frequently. So yeah. that's great. I've got the uh, pressed pigment here in Animal. I put it down today as a base under the Jeffree Star palette, which we'll talk about soon. Um, I like it. I did discover with, I don't know if it's all of them, but with this particular one, mm. it doesn't apply that great with brush. It goes on nicely with the finger though. Yeah. Um, but you know, it works. Yeah. Um, I also discovered the, the gel, like the gel liner. This is the cream gel color in Swerve, which is a black. Wearing it today, it's a really nice creamy pigmented gel liner. I do have a feeling that it'll probably dry out pretty soon, but for the price, it's actually really nice and really easy to use. So Which it? Yeah, really good. Yeah. Um, one product I have not used since that video is the Super Shock Cheek Matte in Carry On. This is the bronzer. Mm -hmm. I just haven't had a makeup day where I was willing to risk my base for yeah. this product. Um, but, you know, it's the colour looks all right. It feels, honestly, it feels exactly the way it did yeah. when um, we played with it in the video. Yeah. So it hasn't dried out. It hasn't cracked. It hasn't done anything weird. Still good. Yeah. Um, and I've got the highlighter that is Ooh. fucking phenomenal. I'll put it on the other cheek. Um, I use this frequently. What also, colour is that? It's called Might Be. Might Be. I've it's got, got like it. a rose gold base to it. It's gorgeous. It, I'm probably a little bit too fair for it, but it does work on the cheeks. Other areas of the face, no go. Like it makes you look like Rudolph if you put it on your nose. But it is gorgeous, and since the weather's still pretty warm here, I try to use it as much as possible. Yeah. Um, but it has really inspired me to want to buy more. Um, oh, aren't they oh, beautiful? So pretty. And they apply so nicely with a brush Yeah, as I was well. expecting it. Okay, once again, my arm. I'm sorry, oh. guys. I'm going to try to demonstrate this for you. Like, it's fucking... Oh. It's beautiful. It's so good. It that, is so good. Oh, they're just... It's so amazing. So And they don't disrupt your foundation. No. I love that. Even when you've set it. Yeah. Like I love my it. foundation has been set time... I've had it a few times today. It is gorgeous. Yeah. So I um, agree. that video really did open our eyes to other products other than just like their lip products and a few of their eyeshadows. Um, this is phenomenal. Like yeah. it's just... Beautiful. Beautiful. Another one that it opened my eyes to was the brow cream or brow color. Sorry. I got the shade Blondie because I was like, mm, I'll try it. Wow. Wow. Totally like these are similar to the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomades, mm -hmm. except they're not as intensely pigmented. So yeah. you do have control over how much you put in your brows. And they also set the brows ever so slightly oh, without that like crunchy feeling yeah. which is great yeah and then we've got a few yes so we've got some like stick things this one is the sculpting stick yeah again I haven't used it yet because I'm just not willing to risk my base yeah but it works yeah I mean it comes right out and this is the lippy stick which once again it twists up it yeah, works it's fine so... it works um one that we actually did have to break yep. to remove the product, but still went back together okay, was the lippy pencil. So essentially we took the base off and then pulled the product out to weigh it. Um, it just slid back in, I taped it up, and I'm not sure if you guys can see there, but I have since sharpened it and used it quite a bit. So it, it works, it's fine. It's like there's not a single thing wrong with yeah, it. Yeah, it's a nice colour too. It is, great <laughs> colour. Is that all the Colourpop? It is all the Colourpop. Okay, and then we've got these guys here, which are Physicians Formula. This was the shit bonus video that we mm. did. Um, we've got the Argan Wear Blush mm -hmm. in Natural, and we've got the Light Bronzer from the same range. Um, I'm going to say that I don't actually use these because I'm wearing the blush today. I don't love the colour. It doesn't really, it's not really my thing. I prefer like a peachy kind of blush. A bit um, too pink for you maybe? Yeah, yeah. it's a bit... Like, it's just a bit meh. 
and it looks like it's quite uh, potentially warm toned, but it actually, for some reason, on my skin looks a little bit grosser. Cool quite cool. Can so, I have a smell? Yeah. Let's see. It's, it smells like the scent of the of the thing. It, it smells like kind of rosy. Yeah. Yeah. The product itself was scented. Yeah. So it doesn't smell like alcohol anymore. No. It still applies really well. And they yeah, will... that smells earthy. It does. It smells yeah. earthy. When you repress the products, they will smell like alcohol until they are completely dry. But yeah. once they're completely dry, they stop smelling like yeah. alcohol. So, you know, it, you just have to wait for them to dry properly. Yeah. And this bronzer, the that's too light. It's too light for me. But I am thinking of keeping this for winter. Mm -hmm. It's got a bit of like a luminescence to it, so it's not it, at the moment. It's way too light for me. There's no point in like just shine up my face. But I'm thinking in winter this might be all right. So Good work. Um, I might hold on to this but get rid of the blush because I just don't use it. You can use it if you want. Nah, it's not. Again, I'm like Kat, probably yeah. too cool for me. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, I, I like more plummy shades yeah. if we're, I'm going cool or I like coral shades. Yeah. That nice warm. Yeah. So this is more about the, we don't love the product. It's not that repressing it. No, was no. That. For in this case, it's more color rather than It's also it very uh, dry. They are dry. And yeah. I think I think the the product in general. I've got another bronzer from Physicians Formula. They are they are quite dry, and um, I just find it a little bit effort. Yeah, yeah. Effort. I I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Next one we've got is Becca Champagne Pop. Now yeah. this is my repressed one. Yeah doesn't smell like anything and which... a lot of people have been asking has it the formula been changed now we can actually do a swatch comparison mm -hmm. because I have one that hasn't been repressed um, it is just my one so we can do a comparison let's uh, do one of these all right so there they are this one here is the this one here is the uh, repressed and this one is the not repressed they look exactly the same yep. repress will be at the top and the same they're exactly the same yeah as we expected yeah um so i'm actually gonna i'm gonna demo this one um it repressed beautifully it dried beautifully it's not um too soft in the pan when you pick it up and it i mean yeah it look at my stupid hair <laughs> it um it performs Exactly as the Becca highlights do. Yeah. So, you know, no change. Um, no problem mode. I'm going to move on to another highlighter. This is the uh, Rose Highlighter. The Rose Highlighter by Estee Lauder. Now, what I want to say about this is I actually. Long Com. Oh, Long Com, it is. Oh my God. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. I need a snack. Uh, Long Com Rose Highlighter. Now, I keep this in a Z palette. And I took this to Kat's place when we had a little sleepover. Mm -hmm. And when I pulled my palette out in the morning, it had broken. Yeah. Um, so maybe don't travel with it. I would say the binding ingredients in it oh, aren't that great. Yes. Um, so don't travel with it. Because it was just it. flaking it off the flower. It was. It so. was. Um, but it... Oh, a bit too much maybe. <laughs> uh, but it still works beautifully. And it like it it works. It works. It's yeah, fine. It's fine. And it's getting delicate used. but fine. Delicate but fine. Another thing that we destroyed, this dude, Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. Now this palette it hasn't really changed in the way that it performs, but some of the drier shades like Star Power and Vanity have had cracked. cracked really badly. And when I reviewed this, I said the driest shades in the palette are those two, Star Power and Vanity. They feel like chalk, um, but they perform exactly the way they did prior to being repressed when I use a brush. Mm -hmm. So... It's just that it's yeah. delicate. It's delicate now and it's not, it doesn't look nearly as good as when it was yeah. new, but the shades perform exactly the same. Do you want to swatch a few? They just look like shit. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. So I will actually swatch the one of the mattes. So you can see there 
Like they pick up well, but I mean, they never really swatched that great anyway. Um, but they still work. Like there's nothing wrong with them. It's just, yeah, it's exactly the same. And no, it doesn't smell like alcohol. It smells like Can nothing. Swatch some. Yes. Rich bitch always look at it. Oh, it's a, it was, yeah, always, horrible. Like that before. It was yeah, always horrible. And, you know, we had a lot of people saying with the swatch photos at the end of that video, um, yeah, you know, they photos. don't, it doesn't look as good. And that's because, like, the sw the before swatches. Yeah, this was super dry. Yeah, exactly. The before swatches, I swatched quite heavy for the purpose of showing people the colour that you can get to build it up. Whereas when I took the secondary swatches, I was like, hurry the fuck up. It's late, I'm tired, I've yeah. been editing this video for hours, let's just finish it. So, yeah. you know, and they don't, these mats, they don't swatch well. Yeah. They work well with a brush, but they don't swatch well. Yeah. Nothing's changed. All right, guys, so that's it for our makeup breakup roundup. Yeah. Um, we might, if you guys enjoy this, we might do them every couple of months just yeah. to like touch back on products that we've destroyed and kept. Mm -hmm. um, people seem to question their quality afterwards. So this is kind of a way of us saying, well, we still use them and they still work. So Yeah, and we've just got, discovered some really good stuff. Yeah. Some that we're like, eh, meh. Some that's, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's interesting to recap everything. If you want to keep seeing them, do let us know down in the comments or give us a thumbs up. Yep. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. One last thing though, uh -huh. on the screen we will have um, the playlist. So if you oh, didn't yes. miss any of the videos and you're like, I haven't seen that one, they'll all be in the playlist. They're yep. all there. So go check don't it worry. out. We've got your back. Bye guys. Bye. <sighs> Why is there pink shit everywhere?